we're ready for it. We've been, we have to be. We live in the swamps. All right. Swamp people can, uh, <laughs> they can endure better than uh, city folks. Let's go. Move on, boys. Come on, Skinny. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, guys. Get up in the water. For seven years, so I kind of know what's going on. Well I lost, uh, I, lo I, already, I already lost 800 crawfish traps that I had offshore with Katrina. I haven't been able to find any. And we're fishing 120 miles offshore, west of Tortugas. And I got 2,000 of these overboard now. So if if uh, if Wilma comes by, it's just gonna it's just gonna you know eliminate us. I've been doing this since 1975. <laughs> Um, I'm with the Wildlife Rescue of the Florida Keys next door, so we need to stay on in town to uh, help with the animals after the storm. We usually get a big onslaught of injured birds, seabirds, so we'll be staying in town to take care of the animals. Free coffee! I myself think that the media is out of control. You guys are supposed to keep people calm. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we're having a storm? I think that you guys are so out of control <laughs> that you need to have a big oh. meeting with all of the media from around America because it's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> It was a great, great, great faith of these nuns, what they did. And I had the same faith, you know? I am not afraid. I am not leaving Key West. I never have left Key West with the storms because of my faith in, in God, in Jesus, and this grotto. What is the worst thing that could happen that it 